Hello everyone, welcome to LRDI Prime. My name is Samir Sardana and in this video, I want to discuss the basic concept of four set Venn diagram. Uh, if you are solving a set theory question where four set are mentioned, so how to make a Venn diagram of it and how you solve the questions with the help of four set Venn diagram. But before we discuss a four set Venn diagram based complete logical reasoning set, First, we will be discussing the theory of it, right? So, first of all, we will discuss the theory. After that, we will move to the advanced level of questions, which are four-set Venn diagram concepts based on the concepts. We will discuss in upcoming videos. But in this video, we will discuss the theory part. If you have given a four-set, then how to make the Venn diagram? And how to read the Venn diagram? How to read the Venn diagram? How to read the four-set? फोर सेट के इंटरसेक्शन को रिप्रेजेंट करता है विच एरिया रिप्रेजेंट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ थ्री सेट विच एरिया रिप्रेजेंट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ फोर सेट एंड विच एरिया बिलोंग्स टू ओनली वन पर्टिकुलर सेट ओके वट इज सेट अ सेट इज अ वेल डिफाइंड कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स राइट बहुत डिटेल में हम सेट का थ्योरी नहीं डिस्कस करने वाले बिकॉज इसका बेसिक्स आपको आना चाहिए कि सेट कैसा होता है टू सेट का वेन डायग्राम क्या होता है थ्री सेट का वेन डायग्राम क्या होता है इससे रिलेटेड वीडियोज हम मैं पहले ही इस चैनल के ऊपर अपलोड कर चुका हूँ, so you can watch those videos. Four set के Venn diagram के अंदर, let's say कि अगर आपको किसी कोई भी four set दिया हुआ है, right? Let's say a represent, there's a set a which represent the number of students that belongs to the set a, right? So four set a are four set. Let's say in one particular question you have four set a, b, c and d. A means students belonging to set a. Now I'm not defining what is set A. Let's just assume students belonging to set A. B is students belonging to set B. C is students belonging to set C. And D is students belonging to set D. Now whenever you are making a four set Venn diagram, the first step is to make a three into three matrix. Right? Three cross three is a matrix that you have to make. As you can see here, that I have a three cross three matrix which contains three rows and three columns. Once you make a three cross three matrix, what you need to do is just join these alternate vertices, right? You just draw a triangle, right? Just draw a triangle, right? Uh, starting from this point to this point, right? And then draw another triangle starting from this point to this point. You draw a triangle or you draw a semicircle. That's not a point here, right? Both will represent a one particular set, right? And then draw a triangle on this side from this point to this point, and then you have this fourth triangle here. Now you see that you got four set now. What are these four set? One is this set, right? Let me represent with this red color. This is one of the set, right? Starting from this point to this point. You see that this is the one set. Okay, this is the one set. Let's say this represents the set. This represents the set. Now let me show you a different set with different color. Now let's there's another set starting from this triangle, right? Is is ये जिस triangle पे ये जिस point जिस you know cell के ऊपर ये second वाला जो triangle जहाँ से start आपने किया, right? ये जो blue line के अंदर जो बन रहा है, right? This is the Venn diagrams which represent the second set, right? This represent the second set. Let's say this is my set number three, okay? All right. So set A, set B. There are two more set that we need to represent. The two more set that we need to represent. So here you can see that if you look horizontally, right? If you look horizontally, this green color, right? This is the set C. This will represent the set C. This is a representation of set C. Okay. Okay. Now there's a one more set, set four, right? Let's represent with black color. So this is the set number four, right? which represent the number of people belonging to set D, right? So this green color is the number of people belonging to set C and this black color is the number of people who belongs to set D. Now you can see that these are the, this is a basic Venn diagram that you should know how to, that you should, that you need to know whenever you are solving a set of four set uh, theory, right? A set theory of four set, if you set solve set, you have to Venn diagram. Banana padega. You see that red is the number of people belonging to set A. Blue is the number of people belonging to set B. This green color is the number of people belonging to set C. And this black color is the number of people belonging to set D. Now, now you need to know 
कि कौन सा रीजन कितने सेट के इंटरसेक्शन को रिप्रेजेंट करता है लुक एट ईच सेल सेपरेटली राइट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट विच एरिया बिलोंग्स टू ओनली ए ओनली बी ओनली सी एंड ओनली डी दैट मीन्स द एरिया विच डज नॉट इंटरसेक्ट विद एनी अदर सेट then these are the areas right you see that this is only a this is only a you said this particular area is not intersecting with anything right this is my only b this is only c right and this set is this part is only t okay now look at these regions right this region you see that this region is a intersection of this blue line and the red line so if i am looking for only a and b this is this is the region which represent the area of only a and b right or you can say a intersection b only this is a intersection b only right and you see that this is c intersection d only ye c aur d ka hi intersection hai this part right this is c intersection d only all right okay so we got a intersection b only we got c intersection d only now look at this particular cell if you look at this cell this particular region is coming under the area of a and this is also coming under the area of c so if i look at this cell this cell belongs to a intersection c only this belongs to a intersection c only look at this region this particular cell is coming under the region of b and c so this is b intersection c only right now if you look at this particular region it is coming under the region under the area of d and under the area of b right so this is b intersection d only this is b intersection d only and you look at this corner cell this is coming under the area of a and it is coming under the area of d also so this is a intersection d only okay now you see that these four corner cell belongs to two set and these two also belongs to two set so out of all the intersections which you can see in this complete set there are six regions which belongs to the intersection of two set right there are six regions which belongs to the intersection of two set and the out of these six regions four are the corner cells right you see that all these four corners belongs to the two sets you need to know this right this is a very important information whenever you are you will be solving a four set venn diagram you need to know the four corner cell belongs to the intersection of two sets this is also a region which belongs to the intersection of two set and this is also a region which belongs to the intersection of two set right so four regions belongs to the only part right which belongs to only one set six regions belongs to the intersection of two set four in the corners two here right now these cells right which are in the middle of the rows and the columns they belong to the intersection of three set right this belongs to the intersection of three this also belong to the intersection of three this also belong to the intersection of 3 and this also belong to the intersections of 3 if you want to know that this is a intersection of which three set you can clearly see that this particular cell is coming under the red area it's also coming under the blue area it's also coming under the green area it's not coming under this black area so this is a intersection of a intersection b intersection c only right this is a intersection b intersection c only if you look at this you see that this particular area is not coming under the area of red region that means a so if this will not belong to a and it belongs to three set so this belongs to b intersection c intersection d a se belong nahi kar raha baki teeno se belong kar raha hai right and you see that this particular region is not coming under the green area so ye wala jo cell hai ye c se belong nahi kar raha hai so c is a belong nahi kar raha that means this is a intersection of a intersection b intersection d only right ye bhi teen se belong karega aur kis ek cell se belong nahi kar raha it is not belonging to b right so this is the intersection of this is a intersection uh it's not it, it does not belong to b right b ka ye area hai right to a intersection c intersection d only this belongs to these three intersection now 
Now this is the only one cell that we are left with. Now you see that this particular cell is coming under all the four areas. Look, this red area is under all the four areas. ये ब्लू के एरिया के अंडर भी आ रहा है ग्रीन वाले में भी आ रहा है और ये ब्लैक वाले में भी आ रहा है दैट मीन्स इट बिलोंग्स टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इंटरसेक्शन सी इंटरसेक्शन डी सो यू शुड नो विच वैल्यू इज सपोज टू बी पुट वेयर इन दिस कंप्लीट फोर सेट वेन डायग्राम जब तक आपको ये बेसिक्स नहीं पता होगा तब तक आप फोर सेट का वेन डायग्राम का क्वेश्चन सॉल्व नहीं कर पाओगे राइट सो दिस इज द बेसिक दैट यू नीड टू नो राइट कि कौन से रीजन्स कितने सेट के इंटरसेक्शन से बिलोंग करते हैं राइट सो दे आर सिक्स सेल्स विच बिलोंग्स टू द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सेट द फोर सेल्स विच बिलोंग्स टू द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ थ्री सेट दिस वन पर्टिकुलर रीजन बिलोंग्स टू द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ ऑल फोर सेट एंड दीज आर द एरियाज विच बिलोंग्स टू ओनली सिंगल सेट राइट दिस बिलोंग्स टू वन सेट राइट so you should know only a only b only c only d right intersection of two set intersection of three and intersection of four this is the base of the four set venn diagram once you know this part we can start solving the questions right so in the next video i'll be telling you the basics of the uh, 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 i'll be telling you uh, a one uh, we will be discussing a one more set which will be based on this theory is theory ke upar based hum ek set karenge jisme aapka complete jo concept hai wo clear ho jayega acche se right बट उससे पहले आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि रीजन्स के एरियाज को आइडेंटिफाई कैसे करते हैं राइट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू विश टू अटेंड माय लाइव सेशंस ऑन अन अकेडमी प्लस यू कैन जॉइन अन अकेडमी प्लस यूजिंग माय रेफरल कोड एल आर डी समीर दिस विल हेल्प इन गेटिंग टेन परसेंट ऑफ ऑन अन प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड यू विल बी एबल टू अटेंड ऑल ऑफ माई लाइव सेशन ऑन अन अकेडमी प्लस ऑल्सो I'm. Uh, I will be covering logical reasoning and DIA syllabus, hundred percent LRI and DIA syllabus on this channel. That is LRI prep. So you can also follow this channel, subscribe to the channel, share with all of your friends. There, here on this channel, you will get hundred percent theory on your LRI and DIA. Thank you so much for watching this video, and see you in the next part of the video where I'll be discussing the set which is based on the four set Venn diagram. Thank you.